little babies. Yep, they're banning the shit, and <laughs> that's why I was like, wait, there's an F there. Sorry. <laughs> they're banning the shit, and that's why I didn't. Uh, that's why I never made it. Yeah, that's, that's why, why I never got called up. That's why your college dream of playing baseball is just crushed. Yeah, just too many college. white pants in baseball. They're like, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> he shit his pants again. Shit his pants again. Shit his pants again. Uh, Patriots Steelers Sunday one o'clock start in Pittsburgh. Steelers defense elite? Question mark. Well, they did beat the number five. Uh, I was gonna say if you didn't, if you didn't go with yes here with yes. your boy Burrow and yes. three picks, yes, elite. Well, they're probably the top defense in the league after that game. I'd they say. were good last year. The good this year, TJ Watt goes down for at least six weeks. Not not great for them. He's huge, um, but they got a strong defense. Look, the Pats have beaten them. Um, what are what are they? Uh, six six in the last one. seven time. They're they're six and one in the last seven matchups. Um, that probably that doesn't mean anything for this game, but it just seems like a team that they've as much as the Dolphins in Miami have had the Patriots number or at Denver Patriots never play well there. There's just those teams and the Patriots have owned the Steelers. It's because they don't, don't change anything. They don't change anything. Tomlin doesn't change his game plan for anything. Bill Belichick knows when he goes in that they're going to run the zone scheme on defense. He knows he just tells his wide receivers, find the open space. Mac will find you. But that's what Tom Brady did. He just picked and like Gronk would be open down the seam every time. Gronk knew where to go. Edelman knew where to go. This is what this team needs to do. They just needed to find the open space because this is all they're going to do. You can show them game tape from the first year Tomlin coach because that's exactly what the defense is going to be that they run. Yeah, that's a good point. But they're better. They're better now. Obviously, they got a very good defense, but TJ Watts out. Yeah, that being That's said, you, even when they were doing that, they were the some of the best teams in the league. Uh, Tom Brady just owned that defense. So, yeah. um, can they can Mac repeat that type of thing for a similar defense? I listened to Paul Perillo say it's close to what it was. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's it's not terribly different. So, can they go in there and do the same thing? And bigger question: Does Kendrick does what's the changes here from Week One from Belichick? Does Kendrick Bourne see the field with the owner pressure on him, or does Bill be a uh, double down on cuntiness and with his boy Matty P over there and his Whopper juice and keep Kendrick Bourne on the bench. Can Mac Jones um, back stay healthy enough where he can be accurate and and pick them apart? Um, Jacoby Myers, we didn't mention him. I thought he had a good game, had a really nice catch on the right sideline there. Um, he's the only he guy stepped up on them. Yeah, he's the only guy stepped up on offense. I thought Aguilar was Aguilar. Like that game from Aguilar is exactly what I expect out of him. And every third game, he should catch a sixty-yard bomb. Like that's, in my opinion, what Nelson Aguilar is. So well, this I is only game two. So I guess this is the. Week. Can they find a way to get Jono Smith the ball in in space? The two times it happened, he was a fucking beast. And where's Hunter Henry? I think the only route that that guy runs is just slowly across the field. Like that's it. And he's That's scared, scared, to, get he he's scared a, to get hit too. A shallow drag or a shitty post. Like that's Hunter Henry's routes. Well, that's remember, he didn't game. play all training camp. He was hurt. He was hurt. He didn't play any preseason games. So something's going on with him. I mean, maybe he's not hundred percent. So hopefully by week four or five, he's at his best. But right now I think it's going to be like uh training wheels to get him going in the season. Well, if you remember, they only have two tight ends on the depth chart because yeah. They... Cause don't, why do you got to bring that up? Why do you, oh, bring that up? you know what we didn't talk about? I heard this somewhere. Uh, Put your tinfoil hat on. Fuck you, your loser conspiracy theory. The linebackers are stacked with depth. Do you know who coaches the linebackers? Oh, and dude. the safeties are the the sorry. This uh, I'm gonna go safeties first. The safeties are by son. Bill Belichick's own accord are the best position group and have the most talent on the his, team. His kid, his kid is the safety. But there's coach. two kids. Is the other kid the other linebacker yeah, coach? Steve Belichick <laughs> is the linebacker coach. And you know who the you know who their number one overall draft pick was? Who? Cole Strange. Yeah. Left guard. Yeah. Most paid some real talent there. Uh pay Trent Brown, put Isaiah Win at right tackle, get some depth on the offensive line. Who's coaching offensive line? Skinny Ray. Just fucking unbelievable. And then tight ends, Nick Cayley, the guy that should be, should be the offensive coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Cayley is the tight ends coach. I think. No, it might be somebody else. No, either Skinny way. Ray. The, 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 either he way, should, the guy, he should have been the offensive coordinator. Yes, but the tight ends coach, it's either Nick Kelly or, some, or another. Uh, I see where you're going. There. Uh, they get two fucking guys to make him look bad. I see. You, I'm not you, wearing a tinfoil hat, and I, I believe you. I believe I, you. That's a fucking I, great theory. Yep. Baby brain. Oh, Baby brain coming at you. Um, how about the Steelers' offense and Mitch Trubisky there, Najee Harris? 
our, our well, girl Amanda Vance's uh, man crush, Najee oh Harris. God, do, do they get enough on out? the? Uh, do they get enough on the offensive side of the ball? I think I'll give you a spoiler alert here. It's going to be another grind. Every game this year is going to be a grind unless the Patriots get blown out. It's this is going to the Jets. Maybe if Flacco's playing, this is going to be a grind of a game. Seventeen fourteen type of shit. Um, or seven ten, probably close, closer to the bone. Uh, because I don't think the Steelers offense is you know any great shakes. Deontay um, Johnson is their outside wide receiver, and he had a couple know. good plays, but nothing major. And neither fucking did, uh, insane catch on the side. Yeah, that was that, that was insane. Catch. But Chase, Chase Claypool is the other wide receiver on the other yeah, side. Yeah, Chase Claypool. Yeah. Uh, Pat Ferriman, their tight end. That's the one I'd be watching out for. We always have a tough time against tight ends. This kid, I believe, is like seventh ranked in the uh all of tight ends in NFL right now. Uh, Najee Harris also hurt his foot. He had a problem with his foot in training camp and preseason. I uh, left the game early. So that's something to watch out for. If he's not hundred percent, I feel great about this. I hope he's hundred percent because he's on my fantasy football team. No one cares, no one but cares. I just wanted to throw that out there. That's why I know a little information was going on with Najee Harris, but yeah, it's Trubisky. I don't think he's not going to go out there and win a game. It's going to be the defense and the running backs. That's what's going to win the, the Steelers game. Yeah, I'd like to see. I'd like to predict some turnovers from one Mitchell Tabriski. Um, didn't get any of those against Miami. Had a couple different opportunities. One late that. Oh, that wasn't that Miles Bryant who tipped that ball away from a clear interception from Devin McCourty on a terrible throw by Tua. Terrible decision. Terrible throw. Worst decision type of move from Tua. Had a couple of those late. Um, so I, I, you know, you'd think Mitchell Trubisky is the type of guy that could give you a ball. Like I can you, see him like overshooting think. a overshooting somebody and Devin McCourty scooping one up type of thing. What what would you think uh Tua's uh passer rating was on Sunday? Oh, it was probably pretty high. He was collecting a lot of short field Just throw it stuff. Up. What were their touchdowns? Oh yeah, he had the sixty yard bomb to fucking waddle. Uh He's I'd had one say touchdown. ninety ninety two four. One oh four point four. Ooh, I almost went one oh four. I didn't want to sound jerk though. <laughs> what was Mac? What do you think Max was? Sixty one seven. Oh, wow. Come on. 87. 87? Yeah. I guess he had the touchdown, too, yeah. Ty Montgomery. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, update. He's Ty out. Montgomery, I <laughs> out. He's out. Your opening take from last week. I'm so happy that Ty Montgomery's, Ty Montgomery's in the game uh, and playing yeah, for the Patriots. He, he's uh, done. He's gone. He's Do you done. think we get Pierre Strong? Allegedly. Allegedly, the report is, is that he's going to fill in the Montgomery, but Montgomery was featured a lot last week. I told you would be. Toot toot. No, I mean, there's, he's, he's James White, Kevin Falk, uh, Shane Vereen. That is a big part of the Patriots, even though Matty P's not running the same offense, I guess. So it's all fucking crap. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because I don't, they don't trust rookies, so uh, especially rookie running backs. I'm sorry, rookie running backs they don't trust. So it'll be interesting to see how much playing time this kid gets. All right, saying, wanna... Also, J.J. Taylor. They said J.J. Taylor might come off the practice squad and come up and see some cool. time. Great. Great. Um, you want to do a prediction? What do you think? Yep. Uh, 20 to 13 Steelers. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Um, that's pretty good. Um, I'll go, I'll go 17, 17, 10. It's like fucking price is right. You just bid a dollar on me, you asshole. Patriots. Quick break.